we're gonna do a review on the Kiesel CS6, okay? This is a custom Les Paul style guitar that I recently ordered and received after about five months. So pretty good return rate for a custom guitar. Let's go from the top down, okay? Reverse engineer this thing. So I opted in for this model of headstock. You can get different types of headstock shapes and whatnot. I went with this uh, headstock because of the straight string break angle behind the nut. That is like the most important thing with this Les Paul style guitar. It's solving a lot of issues that Les Pauls themselves and many other Les Paul copy guitars um, have. And that tuning instability that they're known for is very in large part due to this break angle behind the nut. Okay, so this headstock is pretty straight in the line. I opted in for an up charge and having a rosewood um, top or face on this headstock. So typically you, you could get the headstock where it would be the same material as the back of the neck, right? Which in this case is mahogany. This is a mahogany neck. So if you didn't get the up charge, it would probably be a mahogany face. But I did the rosewood um, up charge there, okay, with the Kiesel logo there in the middle, uh, abalone. So it looks real nice. These are locking tuners, Kiesel locking tuners. Really work great, honestly. These are the stock strings um, that I got on the guitar a couple of days ago. And man, I tuned it up right out of the box and started playing it, bending strings, and it stays in tune really well. The setup is really great on the guitar right out of the box as well. So you can count on that, I, I would almost guarantee from Kiesel. It's a good setup right out of the box. The nut is cut wonderful. I believe this is the tusk nut. Um, you know, this is an upcharge, also an ebony uh, truss rod cover. I just got more. I tried to get all wooden parts on this thing. You know, custom guitar, why not? So, okay, so the neck is mahogany, as I mentioned. Now it's a satin finish neck, so no gloss. Super smooth, nice, and easy to play. I really liked it. Uh, the color option, you know, is a spec where you can match the neck color um, to the body. So as you can see, there's the burst going on with the body. Honey burst is the color. So you get the, the burst color on the neck as well. Um, the satin finish on it is great. The neck, the fretwood, <coughs> sorry, fretboard is rosewood. And I got the abalone dots and just standard side dots. Okay, you see those standard side dots and abalone dots on the fretboard, which are nice. I got the jumbo frets. So I like the jumbo frets, uh, big frets, wonderful for bending and uh, just awesome sustain. Let's get down to the body. Um, this is a flame maple top. I don't know the grade. You can look that kind of stuff up and see what they offer, but this is a flame maple top, pretty nice. I. Uh, I was skeptical on getting one because I thought it might be a little too flashy or something, but it is nice. It is a nice flame maple top. Honey burst, okay? The color came out really great. I'm really happy with the, uh, the honey burst finish on this thing. Looks really nice. Two knob layout and volume and tone. Pretty simple, right? Um, I prefer that myself. So that's a personal preference. Um, these are the stock knobs they come with typically they don't offer like the Gibson style Knobs, so if you're trying to make it look like a Gibson, you're gonna have to get some stuff yourself Same thing with the uh, pickup selector. I had to request it to be a cream switch tip if you want it to match so Otherwise, I'll send it with being black. This is the natural wood binding Okay, you can see that is very cool. I like that uh, flame you know maple still on the binding and uh, yeah, so flame maple top, mahogany body. On the back, we have an upcharge for this uh, cover right here is a piece of ebony wood, and this is plastic still. So I don't know if I was expecting this to be wood as well, but it wasn't, and I was like, oh, this is wood, this is plastic. Would have been kind of cool if it was both wooden, but you know, you could inquire on that in your custom order if it's something you really care about. Um, so, the bridge and whatnot tailpiece are their stock option for the stop tailpiece. Um, 
I like that. They do it a string through body option, but I wanted this to be like a Les Paul. So, you know, nothing too modern or different. And these are their, I think, beryllium pickups, which are closest to their PAF style pickups. And if you're skeptical or you're wondering, you know, what Kiesel's pickups sound like and you're reading reviews and just don't know if it's worth it, you know, you can ask them to not, to send it without pickups, put your own stuff in there, but you're going to need to make sure you get the screw spacing right and everything. But these pickups sound great. These are nickel brushed, um, which I think looks really cool. Highly recommend just getting the, the beryllium pickups in this thing. Sounds really nice, clean and overdriven. Okay. My general, uh, first impression was I open the case wow it's beautiful okay I look it down oh I noticed something a little funky on the headstock you know let's see if we can see this in the lighting see those little specks there's like little specks of dust or air bubbles it looks like underneath the lacquer finish that they put on the headstock you know, that was um, not something you see happening on the rosewood fretboard, so I'm like, I don't think those little specks are due to the wood grain or something, okay? It, it just kind of devalues the look of the headstock, if you ask me. Now, one of the coolest things about Kiesel that I totally respect from them is that they offer a 10-day return policy. So, I'm in, like, day three of this guitar right now, and I'm going to spill the beans, okay? But... I am actually going to be returning this guitar, and I'm going to get into those reasons as I, as I continue why I'm returning the guitar, okay? And I don't want it to sway you to not buy a Kiesel, because Kiesels are awesome. From this first experience, I love the guitar. I really do, and it, it's kind of sad to let it go, but there's certain things that I knew I really wanted that I can't just uh, upgrade or change about this guitar, mainly being the size of the body, okay? I imagined the thickness of the body, sheer, you know, thickness of this body was going to be similar, you know, maybe just a little bit smaller or something than a Les Paul. But to me, it honestly feels significantly smaller. This guitar feels modern and more comfortable in some capacity to hold than maybe a chunky, you know, Les Paul feels or a heavy Les Paul, you know? But there's some magic to that heavy, chunky Les Paul. Sometimes if you're lucky and you're looking around long enough, you'll find one that's not so heavy. Um, that's a solid body guitar still. Um, this guitar is solid. Not, no chambering, by the way. And I think it weighs in around like 8 or 9 pounds. This body, though, is just not as thick as a Les Paul. And there's more contours to it. There's a contour right here, which I don't even remember if was an option to get or not. And whether or not I chose it, it's not that I don't like it, but it's just not the feeling of a Les Paul. Now, the thing that I was stoked on was the heel contour. The heel contour is awesome. Super comfortable to play in the high frets. As I'm noticing this now, something that I find very odd is they put the serial number on this plate, on the freaking jack plate. So the serial number is on this plate that could easily, easily be taken off I don't know why you would want to do that. It's not like you're going to increase the value of this by putting something else on it. But, you know, this has the serial number on it versus burnt onto the guitar, you know, or etched in or, or something, you know. If for some reason you wanted to change that, you can't because there goes your serial number. So besides the, the, the size of the body, which was honestly the, the main determining factor for me in wanting to send this back, the carve to this is, is great. The neck profile is very smooth. I don't know what neck profile this is. I'm sorry. It's a very just comfortable neck. That's all I can say. I think I went with like the average, like the regular cut, whatever they have as their like go standard go-to. This is a Gibson scale length. I can say that. The neck profile is not thick by any means. It's just kind of right down the middle. I own a 335 that has a, a little thicker neck, a little more rounded C neck. This is like it's a little flatter than a, than a, um, what I was expecting, you know, so it's, but I don't want to sway you once again. It's not like Ibanez wizard flat, you know, it's just not very thick. So if you want something thicker, try and, you know, make that a point. The last thing that bummed me out was 
the gloss body merging into the satin neck. So I got the satin finished neck, which I love the idea of. And on paper, it sounds great. The body's going to be glossed. The neck is going to be satin. There's a very hard line, and you can kind of see it in this light. You get a little closer, but you can see the reflection from the gloss finish right here, and then just this hard line across. And it's not even a straight line. It's kind of like a, an arch, you know? It comes at an angle. Let's see if we can get a good light on it. It comes at an angle, and I just personally think it looks not good, okay? And it also extends up to this fret right here, which is the 15th fret. So satin finish all the way up until like this last little joint, right? Coming up to the joint. You would think that it would be satin all the way at least to, the, to that joint, right? And then maybe, you know, sanded gradually so that the lacquer just merges very, very softly into the satin finish. But there's you know, gloss finish still up here. And that's just not, not cool for me, you know, because you're expecting a satin finish neck, and here you are playing in the high register. You know, not a big deal, not going to help you play better or something, um, but it's just what you wanted. It's what I wanted, you know. So if you want a satin neck but with a gloss body, you're going to, there's not, you're not going to find anyone else online probably telling you or showing you this. And if you do, then good, because I didn't find it. But to me, that's not comfortable. And I think uh, they would benefit by, uh, as a company, by putting some attention into that spec as a custom company to uh, realize, hey, you know, that's, that's not really cool. Why would I send that out, you know? Um, so no hard feelings, but that's just, that was kind of a, a letdown for me in that choice but once again awesome guitar don't have anything bad to say about the company itself first off the customer service has been awesome i know there was some internet you know crap going around with customer service but kiesel uh has been nothing but good to me it's working with um a member named chris thank you chris if you see this did great um and the return process you know mentioning it to him in an email that it pains me to send this back but you know, and I go on to explain why, and his response was prompt, and basically, no worries, man, that's why we have a 10-day trial period, so very, you know, big thank you to Kiesel for being so understanding and making what, for me, is a very hard process to give something like this back, um, a comfortable, you know, process where I don't have to feel bad about it all. The last thing I noticed was the electronics were a little funky, so the, uh, the pot, whatever it is, it's probably the pot. Maybe there's some other stuff that all the tech wizards know, you know, but from zero to like two, it's like full on. There's not a lot of dynamic change in there. So for instance, if I, I'm on like a mid gain channel right now, we'll go to the bridge pickup. Tone is at 10. You're going to notice. like already capacity you know like at like two or three whereas with another guitar if I roll this back it would clean up by there like half turn it's gonna clean up this doesn't really clean up so it's not the it's not the pedal situation or something you know it's coming from the guitar because other humbucker guitars aren't doing that the tone knob seems to be pretty nice so so no problems with the tone knob really just the volume for me isn't di is not dynamic so So that's a, like that's like the last thing I can really say constructive criticism wise. You know, be prepared to you know, if you're going to order one of these, uh, consider asking about the electronics. You know, if you know what you want, then you'll just change it anyway. Um, if they don't have that offered, pickups are great though. Love the pickups. If you want the satin neck with the gloss body, 
you know, feel free to send them this video clip and say, hey man, I don't want that. Can you please make it nice and clean and look good, you know, because I think this is just something that maybe is a new thing for them or a lot of people don't order this and the guys at the bench encountering this, you know, haven't had this kind of instruction before maybe. So regardless, you know, if it doesn't bother you, then it doesn't bother you and that's cool too. I really recommend Kiesel guitars. They're awesome, even though I'm returning this guitar, so it seems odd, um, you know, but they're great guitars. I just know what I want, um, and this is almost there. With that said, the CS3, as far as I understand, is the same shape, the same dimensions and everything. It just doesn't have a flame maple top, and so typically you could get your, you know, um, gold top CS3 or something, or whatever color you like that paints over it's just a plain maple cap and for the price difference which I think is gonna be around five or six hundred bucks depending on the extras you get added on it might be worth it just to go with a CS3 honestly or yeah CS3 and I'm happy to answer any questions I can this is not a playing demo I'm not gonna play any more than I already did because you're hearing this through an iPhone so all I can say is that the guitar plays awesome the pickups sound awesome I hope you find this video helpful and I hope you, uh, you know, explore Kiesel and maybe buy one.